51. Oh, 51. Got to stay in shape. I get the feeling that Victoria thinks I'm getting too thin. Need to start working out, you know? So, for my birthday today, she got me some workout gear. I'm all ready for the day. I feel like I should take my shirt off. Ha! Ah, happy birthday. 1127. 69, dude. And, uh... I was just looking, it's probably 11.23 right now. I don't know for sure, but when I came out here, I looked, it was 11.21, and I was like, oh, it's about to be 11.27 on 11.27, 2020. Yeah. And I thought, my God, I, I don't know what to do. I'm going to start talking, and then I'm going to miss the whole event in the middle of it because I can't just talk for a minute or two. Look, I've gone this long talking about nothing at all. And, uh, uh, I realized what better thing to be doing at 1127 on 1127 when it happens to be your birthday. 317s. What better thing to be doing than drinking a beer with you? It's all about timing, you know. 11.27, yeah, we're coming up on it right now, I'm sure. I, I don't have a clock in here. It's my biological clock. I think I'm about to enter menopause. I don't bleed as much as I used to when I cut myself shaving. But time is money. And 1127 on 1127 is the jackpot. So here I am. <clears throat> um, yesterday on Thanksgiving Day, my birthday in remembrance, whatever they call that, Honorable, but they change Columbus Day around so we get the day off. Uh, uh, one man, barely alive. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. Technology, that's what I was talking about yesterday with a Bigfoot. How I said, if you, I ever tell you that I saw a Bigfoot, you can just put me away. I just don't believe in him without the idea, possibly. And quantum mechanics, quantum physics always has its neat little tweaks, doesn't it? Possibly the big feet are technologically advanced. So much more than we are that teleportation to them is like the cell phone to us. We've just accepted that we have it and use it and you, you couldn't fix it if you needed to, but I'm pretty sure that if there are big feet, they teleport. Back to the homeland, back to the mothership, whatever they're doing. And since I was talking about Bigfoot yesterday, it made me think of 2016. October. I was taking the 80 back from San Jose where I had picked up my stuff that had been out there since 2003. And uh, I had the car packed. And I was coming up outside of Carlin, Nevada and thinking about that fucking haunted tree out there that I slept in the one time. And I was looking at the, the little exit thing and I'm like, there is no way I'm going out there in the middle of the fucking night in the pitch black. No fucking way. Not after having slept in this tree. It was like midnight as I'm driving here going, no. 
I, I don't have the guts for something like that. I slept in that fucking tree, and I, I'm pretty sure that tree is a fucking portal to the underworld. One of them, really, you know, crotches of trees, according to mine and everything. There was shit going on around there. I was like, ah! I slept in that tree, and uh, had something chase me back up into it. Something big that I never did see. <laughs> Fucking, I could feel the ground shaking behind me. It was so fucking big, roaring up behind me after I took a piss out there looking at the stars, saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with this place. I must have just been imagining it all. And this thing, I turned around to walk back to get my shit to go, and this <laughs> up in the tree, nothing there. I see this fucking on a tree. I stopped back by there a few years later, again on a different motorcycle, and was out there just before fucking... Uh, sunset just as the sun was setting and I'm looking around and I'm seeing the old things that I recognize that I have pictures of and took pictures of and uh, I start hearing I think <laughs> there and the fucking nothing there and I say I gotta get fuck out of here so in the middle of the night there I'm not even no way I'm not stopping in the middle of the night there's something out there that's just fucking waiting for me at the at the beginning of the Hastings cutoff or whatever the hell it is. Outside of Carlin, Nevada. And so I'm driving and thinking, no fucking way. And all of a sudden, you know, you hear about these things. But, uh, uh, uh this fucking thing. I, I can see it up in the distance as I'm coming through the night. I'm the only one on the highway and I'm driving and I'm seeing something walking across the road the freeway in front of me and i'm like what the fuck and as as i'm getting closer and that's just going Kah. it was walking like on these big fucking arms and in, in, in the back its legs and it, and it had this fucking human rib cage it looked a lot like me i i didn't touch its mother and it and it had this tail and it looked at me and I had this fucking boar-like face, and it was just, I said, what the fuck is that? And I said, ah, and it, it walked into the underbrush just as I went by it, and it was looking at me, and I said, ah, and I, I kept going, and I, later, I, you know, and I, I thought, uh, whew, I had my sword in the fucking, back of the car ah. I had my fucking sword in the back of the car shit that I was bringing back that shouldn't fall into the wrong hands unless they're mine you know I could have stopped and fucking ah, 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 that fucker apart I all I can figure is that this is the chupacabra that they talk about I have never seen anything like that and uh, I got hacked it up to pieces and then sold it to Taco Bell for their great new dish, the Chalupa Cabra. That's my idea. Right now, I am voicing my copyright. This is an old idea that I've had. It's going to be like a, like a bunch of different... Uh, meats and some green sauce, some brown sauce. It's gonna have the 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 chicken, the steak, and the pork. It's gonna and it's gonna have some sort of like the green sauce, you know, the hot stuff. And and it's gonna be the ugliest, most stinking thing you ever saw, but it is gonna be delicious. The Chalupa Cabra, Taco Bell. What I'm telling you. You go down, all seven of you, start going to Taco Bells and saying, I want the new Chalupa Cabra. And they'll be like, what the fuck? And you have to explain to them how to make it. And that's the thing. It, it, it's going to be made different ways in different regions because you know, people are spread out and they like them different ways. So it, the Chalupa Cabra, you'll have the, the Albuquerque Chalupa Cabra and shit like the Carlin Nevada.
the Carlin Chalupacabra. They'll, they'll have different, different ethnicities of these things. And uh, you can have it in at the Taco Bell convention every year. You, you can have all the different, different flavors of Chalupacabra. It's not just one, it's an entity of good taste. And since I, I give you this idea, I want $30,000 and you can have it. Email me. I haven't checked my, my Gmail for this account in uh, probably eight months, but I, eventually I will. And there might be stuff in there that we want to talk about. But uh, yeah, and so I see what I, I, I can only guess. I, I don't follow this Chalupa or Chupacabra thing. I don't follow all this mystical stuff. I just see things. And um, I stopped at the next exit to get gassed up. Just, I really need to stop. I was like, might as well get gassed up. And I walked into this place and there's this guy sitting there, a younger guy sitting there behind the counter. And I said, I said, hey man, I said, you got any mountain lions around here? Because I thought possibly it was a manged mountain lion, starving, destitute, and at the end of it, suffering. He said, no. And uh, I said, hmm. And I sat there quiet for a minute and I, I said, I, I just saw something back there. And I described it the way I described it to you. And uh, he just looked at me without really missing a beat. Just that slight pause to let you know he's thinking. And he says, a lot of weird things go on around here. I said, well, I said what about the tree it, over there? He said, never heard of it. And so evidently it's a special place, but, uh, yeah. So I saw the chupacabra. I could hack, hack, hack it up. And, you know, they could have saved some of it for like 50 year anniversaries or something. But the original chupacabra, there wouldn't have been enough to feed everybody. So it's just like special occasions make your own your own recipe it's the chalupa cabra